As the director for the ISA program, uh, I've had the opportunity to wa watch it grow from uh, working with one teacher in a school starting out in 2005 who was interested in learning about interdisciplinary uh, fields of science and medicine and then translating that into her seventh and eighth grade classrooms. I was approached in 2005 by Dr. Gardella to start a program um, at this school for the students to give them different opportunities. Um, that summer I attended a workshop and worked in the lab at UB on tissue engineering and what I learned about the tissue engineering I brought back into my classroom and we did a project that was less intense than the, the, one, the one that was being done in the lab, but it was the same concept in the same labs. After that year, the program continued to progress. We did an after school program, which helped my students. I was able to get UB graduate students to come into my classroom to help with labs so I could do um, different types of labs. My name is Max Vesquez, and I was a student here at Native American Magnet School number 19, where the ISEP program originated and I started in fifth grade. The good Heather Gerber helped me get into the sciences by showing me how to build a bridge at the pasta. And that was a lot for me because that showed me that I was good at something. You know, not just good at it, but something that I love to do. And I had fun building things. So it meant a lot to me and it's a big reason why I went to tech, Hutch Tech, where I major in architectural engineering, so ISEP has made that possible for me. Before ISEP, I really didn't even know what interdisciplinary meant. I thought it actually was more about uh, teaching science and math and social studies in that way, as opposed to chemistry, biology, earth science, all intertwined into lessons. So it's really transformed. Uh, my classroom in that respect. Buffalo State is a, has a long history of being uh, an excellent teacher's college and in fact it was the Buffalo Teacher's College at one point and the Buffalo Normal School at one point uh, in its history. So we've been preparing teachers for over a hundred years. The institution takes great pride in that part of its mission. I think the most important part of our collaboration with ISEP is that um, we do get to collaborate with other institutions in the area, with the museum, with the school districts, and with private industry. And that's something that is not always being traditionally part of Buffalo's, Buffalo State's mission. Um, but ISEP really brings that out and it provides us with a wonderful opportunity to do that and to rethink the things that we're doing. ISEP started at our building six years ago now, and in earth science alone, we went from having a 17% passing rate to over a 65% passing rate, and obviously in increments over the past six years. And that is by having the ISEP volunteers in our room, the grad students in our room, and for all of the hands-on work that we can take over our summer research and actually bring into our classrooms. The ISEP program and the museum's role in it has been multifold. First of all, it is an opportunity for kids to come and um, visit the museum where we provide programming. The rich resources that the museum have allow students really to take ownership of their learning. Uh, no one flunks museums and, and we appreciate the fact that when they come, our, our mission statement is inspiring curiosity through exploration. So we want them to, to find the things that they're interested in. We want them to ask questions. We want them to uh, have explorations and try things and, and fail and try things again, because that's really what informal science learning has to offer. It allows kids the opportunity to take on the qualities of scientists and to realize that they can be a scientist and, and do science. And that's an important strand of learning as long as we're getting them motivated and excited about learning. Yes, um, one of my favorite is the Science Olympiad. I've been in it since seventh grade. And when you go there, it's just very, it's, it's like educational everywhere. So when we went there last year, it was just, it was just like a new experience for me because I haven't been there before. I met him in one event, but 
I, I really like how I was able to connect with other teams, show sportsmanship and represent my school. And this year I got to do the same thing and I won twice as many medals that I did last year. So I guess the biggest challenge is if we don't have the funding for this program. Um, I've been doing it for, the, for five years and I just find that um, we've really kind of picked up picked up a lot of momentum. Um, it's, it's the students that have participated at my school um, also participated in their, a lot of them in their, their middle school. So it really was what, what was envisioned is kind of the, the transfer from um, elementary and middle school into high school sciences. I guess if, if we don't have the funding, it's going to be harder to implement. It's, we're going to lose out on the professional development. Um, lose out on the supply money and things like that. So I see that as, as the biggest challenge. Um, we're ready to go. So just say the word and we would do ISEP for the next you know, 15 years of my career if I could. So. Uh, the future uh, of this um, really is to gain support so that we can expand the program to every school in the Buffalo Public School uh, system. That would be uh, a challenge to go from a program that serves 12 schools really intensely to 58 schools. Um, but the, the demand is there, the interest is there, uh, this is a priority for the school di uh, district leadership, really because at the present time uh, STEM jobs in, in Western New York, in Buffalo and Western New York are really on the upswing, as they are in many urban areas in the country, and we don't have American citizens ready to take those jobs. So we're recruiting uh, worldwide to fill those jobs. In this community, with the loss of heavy manufacturing jobs over the last 40 years, to be able to replace those jobs with, for example, the largest solar panel manufacturing facility in the United States here in Buffalo, uh, and staff those with uh, with people from the communities, uh, younger people, older people, it's a big priority. So we see this program as being central to workforce development, to uh, the academic challenges as we think about our public schools, and to the community at large.